continue the tangent line problem that we started earlier in this course. Now that we have limits, we can do that. To find the slope of the tangent line, we take the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches 0. In the numerator, the delta y is really the y value at the second point minus the y value at the first point. Let's look at a specific example, 2x squared minus 4x. So let's first find f of c plus delta x. We're going to replace all the x's with c plus delta x. So we'll need to expand this, which will give us 2 times the expression c squared plus 2c delta x minus 4c minus 4 delta x. Expanding this gives us 2c squared plus 4c delta x plus 2 delta x squared minus 4c minus 4 delta x. Now this may look a little cumbersome, but nice things are about to happen. Let's now go back and do a subtraction because we're going to take the limit of delta x limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2c squared plus 4c delta x plus 2 delta x squared minus 4c minus 4 delta x. Now we're going to subtract the value at c, which will be minus 2c squared minus 4c. We distribute the negative sign, canceling negative 2c squared plus 2c squared minus 4c plus 4c gives us 4c delta x plus 2 delta x squared minus 4 delta x and we're dividing this by delta x and what happens here is we, we're left with 4c plus 2 delta x minus 4. We take the limit of this as delta x approaches 0. This term cancels out so our answer is 4c minus 4. So this will be the slope of the tangent line anywhere on the curve. So let's let x equal 0. See what happens. We replace c with 0. So we have 4 times 0 minus 4, which give us negative 4 for a slope. At 0, if we draw the tangent line, the slope will be negative 4. What happens at x equal 1? We replace the c here with the 1, we get 0. The slope of the tangent line is 0, which is no surprise. And finally, we look at x equal to 2. Again, using our generic formula, 8 minus 4 is 4, so we draw the tangent line and the slope here is m equal to 4.